What's up guys, thought I would do a quick video overview of my KWA LM4 Mark 18 build that I'm doing. As you can see I got a, a new optic. Um, I've been kind of experimenting with uh, different stuff. Um, initially I had a uh, Elcan Spectre DR uh, replica on here and kind of played around with that a little bit and I just thought it was really heavy, especially with how heavy the uh, LM4 magazines are. Then I went to a replica 553, and I thought that was equally as heavy and bulky. So um, I pretty much settled on a uh, micro replica. This is actually the uh, primary arms advanced micro on a Daniel Defense uh, T1 mount, um, which is actually a really nice mount. And the entire uh, kind of optic profile is really lightweight and really minimal. And uh, I went with the Tango Down cover to kind of match with the rest of the tan stuff I've got going on here. Um, the Primary Arms Advanced Micro is a little bit different. Um, the battery is housed on the right, and normally on like aim point micros, um, this is the dial you would turn to uh, change the brightness levels. But um, on the Advanced Micro from Primary Arms, there are actually little buttons which is covered up by this uh, Tango Down cover right now. But you have a minus button and then a plus button to adjust the uh, sight, and then you push both to turn it off. So you can actually operate the buttons just fine through the cover, but I actually might make a cutout for them. But uh, let's see. You can kind of, there, see the dot a little bit. And the buttons are really responsive, even with the uh, Tango Down cover on it. But uh, it gets really bright and it gets really dim as well. So uh, it's a really nice dot. Um, and uh, it's fairly affordable, um, kind of pricey for airsoft use, but um, I know a lot of people use them on their uh, real steel weapons. So I think it's probably worth it for especially something like a gas blowback rifle, whereas some of the cheaper replica optics probably won't handle the recoil very well. Um, even for like a gas blowback, I know some replicas are really bad uh, with that holding zero, even with the gas blowback recoil. And then if you so choose, you can actually just buy one for your real steel weapon. Uh, the primary arms hold, hold up pretty well. Uh, good, good reputation in the real steel community there. Um, other than that, um, this is about finished. Um, the last thing I have is actually a uh, the Angry Gun SOCOM 556 suppressors that just came out. I pre-ordered one through JK Army, so hopefully it will be shipping soon. Um, I got it in the tan color, so I think it'll look pretty good on this uh, Mark 18. So that's uh, pretty much it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.